Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And as you can see, our uh, iron mine is going along nice and fine. And this is actually one of the little details I was talking about that they added the game to make the add a little more. I don't know if you'd say realism to it, but uh, you'll notice you can actually see the path that vehicles tra travel. So you can see them driving back and forth from between here and here. And then same with over here. Uh, not getting any traffic over here yet because these guys are full of coal. You have nowhere to put the coal here. So uh, that's why I set up a second metal caster here to see if I can speed this up. But it looks like we might have to up the production on that slightly. Uh, one of the things I want to do today is actually start getting into uh, production of certain material uh, things. Uh, I get the, the assemblers up and running. Uh, I'll place one down for, for now uh, just to show you the things that we can make. So we can make construction parts that we need to build everything. Uh, we need mechanical parts and electronics with that we will need for uh, the vehicle maintenance, and that's actually one of the things I want to get into, like, right, right now, would be the maintenance depot, yes. So, we have to produce a certain amount of these maintenance parts to keep up with the upkeep of all the vehicles that we have. Now, as you can see, this actually requires power, so that means we're going to have to get to the diesel generation. Uh, as far as research goes, I have queued up a few things. So, right now, I am working on concrete production, which we need to unlock the, the loose storage, and the loose storage we're going to need for the coal and the iron and other things like that. And then after that, I have... Where was it going after that? We were going to the beacon and then to the ship dock repair. And uh, ship dock repair is going to allow us to get into uh, things. Now we do have somewhere in here we have. Oh, we can actually get the diesel going right now, and we'll actually do that. So um, I'm going to keep it going slowly right now. Uh, I know there is a big patch of oil over here. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to remove any trees for it. Now the part about the oil is. Uh, the distiller, as you can see, has a waste output of sewage waste. Now, currently, I don't think there's any way we can actually treat it, so we have to actually go ahead and dump it right into the ocean. So we're going to go ahead and set this up here first. Uh, I'll just place it right here for now. Now, one of the things about this game is there is some sort of realism to it because uh, if we're going to be dealing with fluids we do have pipes now vehicles cannot drive over pipes so with the pipes themselves uh, just like everything else there is um, or not everything else uh, the mining designations we can actually control the height of it so if I go up like th three blocks high then it allows things like excavators and that to drive underneath it if I go right to the bottom there is no way for them to cross it we can uh, if we get into here there is vehicle ramps and this just creates ramps over pipes so vehicles can drive over it, or you can raise it up above if you want uh, but we'll worry about that later excuse me one sec sorry about that a fly wanted some FaceTime with me not approve so anyways uh, let's go ahead and start getting this set up now because we have this here uh, you know what I'm what I did last time is I set my distiller up over here and pumped the oil over there, but I think I'll set the distiller up over here and pump the wastewater out that way. So let's go ahead and let's get this going slowly so we can produce stuff, get stuff mined and all that stuff. So we do have a basic distiller. We do need coal, which is good because we actually have the coal right over here. So maybe let's, uh, try to give these guys a shorter route. So we'll put the see if we can get this orientated right. Uh, we'll have the oil come in. That's kind of odd placement. Coal's going to come in from the other side. Alright, we'll place it there then. So let's go ahead and place a pump jack. Or in this case, an oil pump to call it, but it's a pump jack. Anyway, place that there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to connect this. And I actually do like that automatic selection of... Uh, transport. Uh, of course there's only so far we can go with them. So we'll connect that to there. Uh, wastewater. We've got a... Hmm. Let's see if we can raise this. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go up one more. Why not? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Yeah. Go up one more now. It's kind of odd, like 
place because when you raise it up, it actually brings it up closer towards you on the grid. But once you place again, then it's fine. So now that we're just going to run this all the way to the back here. It's going to be expensive, so we're going to have to start getting these construction materials being placed. And I'm just going to keep it up high so uh, we can go ahead and get the tree harvester in here and clear out these trees. And I do believe it should automatically lower. Uh, see if I can get this lined up properly here. Are you going to automatically connect or no? No, you're not. Alright, then let's get into line. Should be there. And it will not. So then just hit Q. And now I connect there. Alright, and this just goes ahead and takes everything and just dumps it right out of the ocean. Just like nature intended. Alright, so we have the oil coming in. Uh, we do have to get some power going to that. We'll get that going in a second here. It's going to be automatically producing that. Wastewater, exhaust. Alright, so we got to get our smokestack on here. If I can get on there. Why did that not connect properly? Okay, get rid of that. Let's try this again. There we go. Now as the excavator driving by, you can actually see the track that it, that's been leaving. Okay, now we have... We do now have fluid storage. So I'm going to place that right there. And then we're going to run, run another pipe from... Uh, from here eventually. Oh. I guess we have to go on actual transport. No. What's going on here? Oh. Something's going on here. I have no what's going on. going on. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's working. I'm just being an idiot. All right. So now that that is going, now we got to get a diesel generator. Let's get that layers off since we know that that is there. Uh, generator. We'll probably keep right close here. Uh, that way, so we can always keep it keep it fueled up. In fact, just plug it right in. So now we have a self-sustaining system. Uh, as you can see, our truck demand is very high, so maybe we'll get, start producing a few more trucks. Hopefully we have enough workers for it. And see how we're doing here. Okay, so this is actually moving now. Uh, this guy is taking dirt, and he's dumping it over here. And I like how the grass actually goes over the dirt over time, too. So that's pretty cool. Check on the, the mine here. Make sure the excavator doesn't have any problems. The trucks don't have any problems. Uh, slag is not filled up. Uh, I do have iron going into here. And uh, these are missing input. Oh, yeah. And what is your problem? Slag. Need more trucks. Need more trucks. Build a few more of those. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just get it out of the way. Uh, if you can, you can spend the unity and speed things up if you want. I think that's only going to do the one truck. Okay, so uh, we're just waiting on this all this to go ahead. Let's see how we're doing over here. Trees are good. Landfill's good. And uh, yeah, we're having an excess of potatoes. We got nowhere to put them. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, and I'll be back when everything's ready. Actually, what we can do while we're waiting is we can go ahead and... Now, where was that building? Maintenance Depot. We can go ahead and start building this. And we do have to start getting everything ready for... Sorry, I'm just looking at the inputs here. Okay. Have it on this side here. Now, we're going to have to start getting stuff produced anyway. So, let's go ahead and start getting that going while this is all set up. Now, I already have one here set up. And this is... Uh, no recipe yet. Let's actually see how many recipes we have. We have four. I uh, don't have the ability to make copper yet. Uh, that's actually a two-step process, so that's actually quite interesting. Uh, so we have the iron, so let's go ahead and build three more of these for now. Um, hmm. Production, yes. And we do have the concrete, and the concrete is a fun one. I've exper experimented with that a little bit. Uh, let's space these out two apart, and I'll actually hold shift because I want to build two 
couple of them. Then we'll go over to storage, and we'll just stick a storage on each one of these. If I remember to hold shift to build multiples. Uh, like so. Okay, and then uh, you are going to be making uh, construction parts. You are going to be making mechanical parts. Oh, that's not what I want. You are going to make vehicle parts. And you are going to make electronic parts. Okay, and then I just have to make sure I have all these uh, assigned properly. So you are going to be construction parts. This was mechanical. Uh, I don't think it automatically fills. I think it stays in the uh, actually assembler until I give it a designation. And right, then vehicle parts there, and we have electronics in here. All right. Now, I, the reason I have to make those, like I said, in here, I actually have to start produce these, and this is always going to have to need them. They're just going to be uh, more or less. I have to keep this bar filled to make sure that all the machines are constantly running. And look at that, we are now producing power. The generator is up and running. We have this thing full of diesel already. So that's good. So we are self-sufficient. I don't know how long this is going to last, but you can see there's 75,000 barrels or something in this one section of land. And I think that just means for that one spot that it's at. So each one of these might be different, or maybe this is the whole field. Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't played this too much, but there it is uh, again like i said there's going to be ground what are we going to get into? get into currently we are dealing with rainwater uh, might actually go ahead and start building one of these because we're going to need this for the concrete uh, let's go ahead and rotate it like that and we'll put some fluid storage on it see if we can actually get this lined up properly we'll put put that in the right spot not there and uh, there we go so that's gonna go uh, does this need power no it doesn't I don't think it actually needs anything uh, everything is good there all right let's see where we are on the research we're working on construction right now we have oh we're doing storage good that's great we're getting uh, the, the loose storage so let's go check the concrete section out here where is that uh, the concrete mixer now we need cement uh, I don't have the cement made yet and that would be under the rotary kiln in the rotary kiln we need limestone which is all the way over here I do believe Yes, that is limestone, and there's also some rock in there. But it looks, I think that's what the, the gray one is. All right, so we'll need the limestone, and then we also need uh, the coal, which we have uh, produces exhaust, or uh, yeah, for, the, for cement. Uh, the crusher, we can take the slag, turn it into cr crushed slag, and we can turn that into. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost here. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah, so as you can see, it's two different recipes. So we need the cement. That's what we need the rotary kiln for. So we can use the cement and the crushed slag to make concrete slabs, or we can use the cement and gravel and turn into concrete slabs. The gravel we can actually get through. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? There it is. The crusher. <laughs> the crusher. We uh, take rock, which we mine out of here, and we make gravel out of it, or the slag, which comes out of the blast furnaces, or which I got piled up here. Turn that into crushed slag to make the cement. <sighs> yes. All right. Uh, what is your problem? Oh yeah, you got nowhere to go with the coal. And what is your problem? Construction parts. And why am I not making construction parts? Because I have nowhere to place it, but I think. Let me figure out what's going on here. I guess they forgot about it. I went ahead and prioritized it, and now it's actually doing it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that's not what I want. Let's go ahead and prioritize all this stuff so they actually get this all done. This has construction parts in it, but nobody's taking it out. I'm wondering if it's because that's there. 
take it out of the way and see what happens. Okay, maybe that's it. Yeah. Interesting. Let me fix this. Okay, that seemed to be the problem. I guess they actually have to have access to that port to unload it. That's something I didn't know. Uh, eventually, we'll have to get to uh, fueling stations too, because the excavator had to drive all the way back over there to fill up to come back out here. And then, uh, actually, you know what? Let's actually try that. This is actually an idea I wanted to try. Let's see if we can actually build a fueling station here so the excavator doesn't have to drive so far. Let's get this to slow down and take advantage of our piping network. Okay, make sure that's actually going the right way. That's not what I want. I want this. And let's go ahead and raise this up. Okay, and see if we can get this linked up all the way over here. And that way the excavator doesn't have to drive all the way back and it'll be a temporary fix until I get fueling stations set up. Uh, fueling stations you basically designate uh, certain trucks to actually fuel up vehicles from a certain point so the excavator doesn't have to drive all the way. Okay, now that should fill up this tank so when the excavator has to fill up it doesn't have to drive all the way back over there, it just goes back over here. Okay, so this is going good. I do have to add more storage to that because that is filling up. I'll just do two more like that. Uh, these guys are going to be using everything. So you are making your mechanical parts. Uh, construction parts will be made there. We are going to need, gonna need wood. Where is our harvester? We don't have any trees being cut down right now. Oh. So much for those trees. Just like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a loose storage now. All right. So now, uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, let's actually, hang on. I don't actually think. No, I can't. Can't move those yet. But what I can do. Uh, let's go ahead and get some loose storage set up here. So this will be. This will be coal. Just get a couple of these set up like so. I'll probably be able to move it over with channels later. And then this will be iron. And that way we can keep the. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Keep the uh, excavator running. Uh, iron and iron. And go over here, and this will be coal. And that way it's going to be always a supply. Alright, uh, that is going. Uh, beacon is almost done. Uh, check on the research, see where we're at. Uh, beacon, then ship dock repair. We can continue into that. We got our fuel being done. Let's go ahead and start getting some concrete going. Alright, so here we need the concrete mixer now. We're getting slag from the, the furnaces no matter what. Uh, I don't seem to be seeing any too much rock coming around. What is your problem? Oh yeah, you got coal. Okay, never mind. So we'll probably go ahead with the slag. I want to find out if I can actually reclaim this from the land. So we got water over here. Probably should have the concrete over here. I need water and cement. Uh, let's actually get the cement going. That might be uh, the better solution. Limestone. Oh yes, we need limestone. I do have 600 cement. It's not going to be enough. But I do know I need to get this going. So what can we do here? Probably set up another mine. Why not? And they call it a mine. Sorry. I had to do that joke. Everybody else did. Okay, we'll do that, and then I'll go ahead and edit, edit you. It's a nice chunk. We'll need another excavator. Go ahead and produce you, and a mining area. Well, I'm just going to do it this way. 
clear at all. Carve a big chunk out of the mountain. Okay. Well, our beacon is almost done. This is actually the first time I'm going to be using this. Uh, and what is our problem? Why are we not getting stuff done? We need construction materials. Lots of them. Need wood. Where's my tree harvester? Why aren't you harvesting? You're over here. What's your problem? Really? <laughs> the excavator can. Okay, fine. Uh, no, not fine. Hmm. All right, let's get back into the research here. Doing ship rock dock repair. Let's let's cancel that first. Let's get this done. I need to get those ramps. I have no idea what I need for them, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up. We'll bring it right back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I made a few changes. One of the things I've done is I've set up another fact uh, simply uh, for creating construction parts because we need a lot of construction parts. All these pipes need construction parts, as you can uh, see. 135 with this entire line. I need construction parts for the limestone mine over here. I've already assigned uh, excavator and a couple of trucks to it. I'm going to go ahead and prioritize that priority. Prioritize that because we're gonna need to make concrete soon. I uh, looked into the vehicle ramp. See, we're here. Uh, we need construction parts and sorry, and uh, concrete. Now, of course, we gotta start getting the concrete going. So let's go ahead and start getting this done while we're waiting. So we need the concrete mixer. Now, again, we need the cement, which we have some supply. We're gonna be making some of it pretty soon, and we need the crushed slag. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and just put it right here because we need the water as well. So I'm going to actually have it lined up like that. Go ahead and connect that pipe to there. And now we need our inputs. We need our crushed slag, so we need to make a rock crusher, which was in here. Yes, we'll go ahead and take a crusher. And we'll just connect this right up to it. Do I'm going to try and see the input on this. Okay, now what else do I need? Just to crush slag. Okay. Then on the, at the end of this, we're going to put a loose storage so we can put our slag in here. And there is our ship dock repair. Uh, oh, really? Oh, you're not going to go up like that, huh? Huh, I did not know it went up top like that. Alright, well, we'll just put it here for now. Uh, maybe we'll actually move it back a little bit. No, that's not what I want. I want that. And back to the storage. Because eventually we're going to be getting chutes and conveyors and stuff like that. Alright, and you are going to be holding slag. Alright, now what are you missing? No recipe selected. Okay, we're going to make that. And then we are going to need to put uh, storage on the end for now. Eventually we're going to be moving all this stuff. Why did that not connect? Because uh, I didn't line it up, that's why. There we go. And... Uh, you're not connected either. be nice if it automatically it actually snapped to it. Unless it uh, has a higher output. Nope. I'm just being a dummy. Alright. So there's that. Oh, we got some research to do. Uh, let's actually go ahead and start repairing this dock. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot of materials to repair. And then we got to repair the ship and we can go and do some exploring. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and start building some more stuff. Or researching. Uh... I don't know if I need this, this need this synthetic rubber yet. What is that? Sulfur. Where do I find sulfur? I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, this is all sort of like new territory to me. 
I can do it with diesel and coal, but there's wastewater if I do it with sulfur. There is no wastewater. Hmm. Anyway, let's get into the copper. The copper is actually a two-step part. We need, uh, uh, well, we use a metal caster, but we also need a copper electrolyte. And basically, let's take, uh, what we get is we get in pure copper. We have to run through another process to get pure copper, which is fun. So, uh, we are going to need that to get into the conveyors anyway. So, we'll start researching that. Actually, we need them both, so... May as well give me the next on the list, and then after that, we're going to get into here, but we can't even start that until the construction is done. Uh, we'll add that to the queue, add that to the queue, and this is that fuel station I was talking about, so I'll probably add that as well as soon as I click the right button. Okay, where are we at here? Oh, look at that, our pipeline's being built. And our storage is still empty. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, this is going, so I'm, I'll bring you back when this is all up and running. We're actually producing our first concrete. A little side note here, something I had overlooked and I've forgotten. I was trying to figure out why my limestone wasn't being produced. Uh, when you place a building next to a mine site, if it happens to be too close to the building, uh, to where it's being... And if it's too close to being what's being mined, there's a chance of structural collapse. Well, I think that used to be mine control tower. Right here. Yeah. It collapsed. So, I'm going to actually move this out a little bit. Like so. Uh, we're going to edit our area again. Make sure that we're all in the right zone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, like, well, where's the limestone? I saw the truck, and I was like, okay, well, he's full. He's not full. And, uh, no job. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And I realized, oh, wait, this is missing. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, and you are waiting for a place to put coal because these are still waiting for construction parts. Of course, I could prioritize more stuff. I probably should build more cars, actually, trucks, actually. And I need vehicle parts. Where are the vehicle parts? Here. Prioritize that. Let me straighten things out and get everything built and I'll be back. Oh, look at that. As soon as I stop recording, oh, we get a building, but we don't have any workers now. Because I have too many trucks in the road. Now the question is, where do I, where do I snag that lucky person? Uh, we can't. So, let's actually check out this beacon, shall we? Uh, beacon. And a truck I don't even have <laughs> don't even have workers for that. Oh, put the beacon right here for now, I guess. And uh hmm. Yeah, let's see what I'm gonna do about workers. Gotta take somebody off the job here. Uh hmm. What I might do is I believe if I pause that, it takes workers off the job, or off work in there, and then go do other things. Because now it says that I have four workers available. Cool. Oh my god, the micromanagement in this game. As you can see, it gets, gets carried away quite quick. Again, love the dirt trails. I actually wonder if there's... Like eventually if there's going to be like roads or paving or you can, things you can do. And the beacon is ready. Let's check this thing out. What is this doing? 16 refugees in three months. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, I shall return. Actually, I didn't actually show this. So as you can see, there is a um, bit of a... As shows uh, statistics or quantities of the items that I have and at the production rate as you can see the vehicle parts are starting to actually get produced now because the building's actually done and it shows the fluctuation of the construction construction parts because we're producing them, using them, producing them, using them, seeing with the coal and stuff like that but if I go in here I can actually choose what I want to see I don't need exhausts but if I want for instance 
see how much oil we have. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to pin it. Yeah, pin it, and then I'll show it in the list here. Uh, same with the water. If I want to see the water, I can do that. I'm going to take that off. Um, don't really need to see the food. Because we're producing more than we can store right now. And we actually need. Uh, same with cement and coal, all that stuff. So if I want, I can have everything on there. Or I can have nothing. But it helps keep an eye on things that we desperately need. Like the crude oil and the diesel and stuff like that. Uh, it's nice to know if I'm getting a backlog of oil. So if I know I have extra fuel, if my fuel starts going down, I can find out, well, if, if I'm not producing enough oil, then we got to start refining. Doing my oil, more oil. Anyway, enough rambling. And we just got some new refugees. So our population has increased. We are almost, almost at the limit of needing new housing. So we're going to go ahead and build no new housing right away. Uh, I think here will be good. Uh, I might move the waste collection over to the other side so I can build another one here. I don't think it'll put me... No, it won't. Uh, but it doesn't have to be there, too. I'm going to put it over here just to make sure I have a se separate waste collection on it. And there is a copper refinement that is finished. Uh, I haven't gotten another copper yet because that's all the way over here. I do have some supply for the time being. It won't last, but we do have it. Uh, let's see. What else are we going to do here? Oh, yeah. Uh, that is still... Going on. Why is it saying it's not connected again? Why are you not connected? That makes absolutely no sense. Uh, maybe. Let's try something different here. Uh, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, things are actually chugging along quite nicely. We are getting lots of people showing up. So what I need to do is we need to move uh, the waste collection building. Uh, where is it? There we go. Waste collection. Let's move it on to this side for now. Get rid of that. And we got to get uh, some more housing. Uh, so we are going to need it. Wait for it. Now wait till it goes. No, please, two more, because we're going to have a lot of people showing up. Okay, uh, this is still going along. I had to build another one of, uh, another assembler to get more concrete parts going, or construction parts. Uh, we do finally have some limestone being produced. I have it going to these uh, loose storage here. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and start going on with the concrete. Okay, so I need, I need to get, well, not the concrete. The uh, cement. So we're going to the rotary kiln here. Uh, I could probably just go ahead and I think we could snap it to there. And then if I have a uh, loose storage, I should be able to connect that to there. Have this one set as coal. And then this, it just needs limestone, coal, and it makes cement with waste exhaust. Or, uh, yeah, waste exhaust. So put the smokestack right here, and then of course we go ahead and put a uh, unit storage here. And again, we're going to get all this connected with, um, uh, the other word, conveyors, yes. Alright, uh, synthetic rubber is almost done. This is still not being deconstructed. Well, because I don't actually have a place to put any of this stuff right now. So that could be why. Oh, yes. Did you need water? No, you didn't. You just need those two. Okay. And more refugees. And people are homeless because they're homeless. So that's why I went ahead and started producing these right away. Or building these right away. But, of course, I don't have the materials, so, again, we wait. Oh, look at that. The ship dock is finally done. So, we have the ship dock. So, uh, as you can see, we can actually start making our own ships. We can uh, research new engines and guns and armor and stuff like that. Yes, uh, that's something we'll have to worry about. I have explored a few... Well, I would say a bit, and I have run into a few battles, so that's something we'll have to definitely keep an eye out for. Uh, this is our ship. Uh, we are going to go ahead and repair the ship. 
We need a lot of iron. Good thing we have a lot of iron on that. And then with that, we can go and start doing doing some exploring, seeing what kind of things we're going to find. Maybe find some more settlements we can trade with. Uh, currently, there's not much I really need. Uh, I have a lot of wood. I probably could use some concrete. I don't know if I want to trade that just yet. And what was that? More refugees. We're getting so many people showing up. And there's a tour of a world exploration, which I've already seen. I love the dirt paths. That's actually really cool. It'd be nice if uh, heavily used areas like this ended up getting like little grooves worn into the terrain. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to move on to the next thing. Actually, what I did do is I got rid of the fuel station for now. I want to get the conveyor belts going first and then get rid of the research lab because I have a feeling that the research lab might me allow me to get into the sulfur because I haven't seen anywhere in here where I can find sulfur. I think it might have something to do with uh, refining of coal in some way or another. Oh wow, getting to hydrogen and oxygen too. Oh wow, that is very, very extensive. Anyway. I shall return. And just like that, the ship is repaired. It's 100%. Uh, we probably will get attacked eventually, but uh, anyways, uh, what I do need to do is I need to get some fuel in here. Uh, why am I not having any fuel? Oh, load crew. Okay, why are you not filling up my ship? I think that did it. Uh, it's not the ship. There's a ship. Okay, we have fuel. Now, there's only certain far, so far we can go with one tank of fuel because we're going to make sure we have fuel to get back. Uh, it won't let us go f that far if we don't need to. But anyways, let's go and explore. First one is 200 kilometers away. We shall get that. Get there fairly quick. See you. Bring back some good stuff, will you? All right, what else do I have here? Let's see how the food situation is going. We do have food. I can actually see the food. I took the food off. Maybe that's a maybe that's a bad idea. Let's get those taters back up on the list. And more refugees, of course. Okay, and then get ship gets the destination. Does it? Does it? Yeah. Does it's exploring? Look at that! Oh yay! Our uh, our planet's all up and running. And you are waiting on output, you are full. And even the animation on this is actually quite nice. I like it, it actually rotates. Even even that, that little thing here. Alright, what did we find? We found rubber, we found copper, we found vehicle parts, and we're 25 more people. Hooray! Uh, let's keep going in a straight line and see what we can get. And then we'll have to turn back after that. Hopefully we don't get attacked. And, oh, look at that. Our facilities are all finally finished. Of course, no reserve on the construction parts. I don't think you'll ever be reserve on those things. But we're actually getting stuff complete. I don't think I see any more. No, there is no more blueprints. Hooray. All right, construction two is almost done. I'll check that research again, see where I was going, I believe. I wonder if maybe I should switch them around. Nah. We'll, we'll let her go. We'll do this last explorer and then I'll bring the ship back and then uh, we got attacked. Unfortunately, there's not much I can actually do here. This is just let me know I got attacked. They missed, so I didn't get hit. And there's always going to be an enemy there. And as you can see, it expands a lot of the map. I don't know how far this goes, but <laughs> judging by the looks of it, there's a lot of exploring to do. Alright, and what they do is they return back to their last destination. I cannot go here because I don't have enough fuel, so we just have to go straight home. And then they will be bringing some stuff with us. I do have to clear out this dock, which means i got to get proper storage for the copper and the, uh, the rubber and the concrete and why is there waste in there I have no idea anyway I, I'll be back okay we're almost done with the conveyor belts here it's taking a little longer to research than I thought but let's uh, check to make sure the fuel ship got refueled it did 
I uh, can't actually unload anything because it needs uh, cargo space. So what I might do... Uh, keep empty. I don't actually have a place to put any of this stuff that is from. Uh, I don't know how much space, how much storage a ship actually has, but let's go and do a little bit, more, little bit more exploring while we wait. So let's head off in this direction and see what we can find. Or who we can find. Uh, I still have room for another 70 people. Uh, we max out at 420. We have 354. We're getting more all the time. Uh, research. What should we do for research? So after the belts, we're getting to the research lab too. So I want to definitely see what that's all about because I haven't seen anything, seen anything like that. But that also requires us building the electric assembly, which is that powered version of the assembly that we have. It just produces items a lot faster, and I think it has new recipes. Uh, one of them just happens to be uh, construction parts tier two. So as you can see, it makes uh, the extra part here, but it makes things. It says faster. I have no idea how fast it's going to be. We do have a surplus of power at the moment. Uh, so we'll see how that all plays. And we are exploring and we didn't get attacked. What do you know? Ocean drilling technology. Sweet. Oh yeah, we found the oil rig. So we got a few things with that. Now we can go ahead and actually repair this oil rig. And then we can set up a cargo ship that will actually start transporting oil automatically from that rig. And this is where the whole seed thing comes in, because I remember this oil rig used to be, actually be over here. Uh, we do have some fuel left, so let's go... Which one should we go to? Let's go to this one here. Explore that, and our conveyor belts are done. So let's bring this back down. Well, we'll actually leave it at the same speed. So this is where things are going to start getting a little more... Uh, streamlined and automated stuff like that but basically what I can do now is that's actually full but what I'll do because we actually use a lot of these things let's rotate that we'll connect a few of these onto here like so and then we'll get into our conveyor belts now we have flat conveyors and this uh, moves things like wood iron mechanical parts cement copper stuff like that and then we have u-shape which are for carrying loose stuff like slag and rock and sand and different things and uh oh we found the cargo ship cool so grab all that stuff now we can go ahead and repair this one and this will actually give us a cargo ship that allows us to run stuff back and forth from the the rig which we don't need right now so let's go home what's that noise I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead up and get these conveyors set up and then we'll call it an episode. In the next episode we'll probably look at starting to streamline things a little bit more. Okay, you should connect like so and then you should automatically make a junction and you should automatically make a junction like so. Alright, well, I'll let these guys finish up and then we can watch the conveyors move. And again, just like everything else, there's always little neat little animations in this game. Oh, okay. They're working. Oh, I didn't know they used power. Well, that's definitely something. No, good thing we're producing oil. And uh, food supply is low. So I think we're going to have to get a second farm going. Well, I should do that right now. Uh, probably have to move these. Yeah, probably. Anyway, we'll put, just put the farm right here for now. Uh, just extend it like so. Uh, that is irrigated farms you could probably get into it eventually. But uh, I finished my conveyors. Come on, hurry up. Oh. Oh, yeah, we need a tier two construction parts. Uh, that's right. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, build one of these. And we'll just put you there for now. We're gonna put you onto. I guess put you onto there. So much for my construction parts, huh? We'll definitely have to get in a, uh, like a separate automated line just for those things. Uh, you know what? Let's spend some unity because we can. Oh, okay, we don't have the materials. Hee hee hee. Wait, what do I need? Oh. Eh, make 
between the manual. Uh, I swear to God, I know what I'm doing. Not really, but... Okay, let's go ahead and finish that up. So we can get these things going. And there is a boost that we can do to speed things up. In fact, let's actually see if there's anything we can trade for right now. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the trade window. Uh, no, we cannot. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to let this stuff build up and get this going. And once we get our first conveyors, then we'll call the episode. Okay, the conveyors are finally done. And as you can see, they move. They only uh, they only move when they're carrying stuff. So I guess they don't actually use power when they're not actually running. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I wanna see if it see if it does. Cause like I said, this is all new stuff to me. I'm just gonna wait for these to finish. Cause we're having concrete issues again. Yeah. So it does does actually change. Alright, well, uh, I've got this pause for now until we can start building these up. I'll probably go ahead and set up another storage for that. And just put you right there. I'll make you tier 2 construction parts. Uh, yes, I think it goes up to like tier 5 construction parts, so it gets quite extensive. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll call this episode here. I think in the next one uh, we're going to have to start looking at like ramping up production of a lot of things. One of them just happens to be the concrete production because this this thing here just cannot keep up. Oh, hang on, where are you? There you are. Just can't keep up. It can't produce it fast enough. I got such a backlog of slag that the crusher's not running. This thing is full. Oh, there it goes. It just moved. In fact, what we can do we haven't actually set this up yet we go ahead and get our storage and this should automatically connect up to there do these oh yeah these construction materials and there we go that should be almost done Let's see what else you still need and that should be it and then we get this thing done because I've never seen the shoots before, and I, I, that's actually really cool. All right, well, I think we're gonna call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.